Hello, I am an intern at Topayo Vets and own a cat at home. That little fluff ball makes my day every day, but recently she began scratching and clawing at her neck, causing a lot of skin irritation. As a result, we had to put an e collar on her, and ever since, she has been really depressed. She hangs her head low and no longer runs around as freely as she used to. It breaks my heart to see her like that, and I'm sure any other pet owner would feel the same way should their pet suffer too. During my internship at Topayo Vets, I have witnessed many pets in ill condition too. Here are some common surgical conditions I've seen and how exactly to cure them. We will be looking at open pyometra, ingrown toenails and anal circulitis. Before this video, we would like to advise viewer discretion as there are some surgical procedures. In the vet world, there are two kinds of treatments. Surgical treatments, which we will be zooming in on, and medical treatments. First, let's zoom into anal saculitis. Just like my cat, this cat has also been scratching herself profusely. On the 17th of November, 11.25am, a female cat came to the vet and here is its diagnosis. This cat comes in with uh, generalized itchiness. Uh. How long? Uh? How long? One month. Uh, for one month. Biting, biting. The neck one is normally due to the ears and uh, itchy. Uh. Now, the, the other one is the tail. Uh. You can see the tail. It's biting the tail. It's very rare because cats seldom bite tails. Uh. And there's an oil gland. There's a two oil gland here. This oil gland got infected. So I'm going to press out the oil. Uh. Now I will use the tissue to cover up, <coughs> cover up first. Now you will see any oil or not. If, if there's oil, you will, you, you will be the cause of the itchiness. Uh. The oil glands are 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock, uh, the two oil mm -hmm. glands. So I check and see. Oh, you can see. How is the cat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One yes. You see, uh, this cat, the oil uh, mm -hmm. is very long already, that's why it's thick. Mm -hmm. It cannot come out, so the cat try to, mm -hmm. try to uh, bite, it, bite the tail. Mm -hmm. So normally the oil is light yellow. But this one is very long and very smelly. Uh. Mm. So this one, this is the reason why the cat is feeling itchy on this side. Uh. The cat is a victim of anal saculitis, which is the infection and inflammation of the anal sac. The infected and impacted anal sac on the right is a lot bigger than the normal one on the left due to swelling. When squeezed, there will be a lot of brown or grey discharge. Meanwhile, humans also have anal glands which are located near the inner anal muscles. In the event of an infection, pus will develop near the anus. It is known as anal abscess. As a temporary solution, the cat's owner can bring her cat back to the vet for regular squeezing of the oil glands as a medical treatment. However, as a permanent solution, the cat owner can offer a surgical removal of the gland. Next, there was also a case study about open pyometra. Here is what I have learned. On the left is an illustration of the dog's reproductive system, and as you can see, on the right, the human reproductive system is rather similar. Hence, both are susceptible to the aging of the womb and bleed out dirty brown blood. This is a normal vulva. This is what vulvas are usually supposed to look like. They are slightly pinkish and not swollen. On the other hand, this is an abnormal vulva. As you can see, there is blood discharge and the vulva is swollen due to licking. Can you spot the difference? The owner of the dog which came to the bio vets opted for the temporary solution which is antibiotic pills. This is a type of medical treatment. However, Dr. Singh advised the permanent solution which was spaying. This was the surgical treatment. This would prevent the bleeding from recurring. Finally, I also witnessed the case of the ingrown toenail. Just like humans, dogs also get ingrown toenails. Some common causes of dog's ingrown toenails include not keeping the nails trimmed. Sometimes the nail will grow so long that it curls back around and grows into the flesh. Another cause is a naturally born curved dew claw into the flesh. During this visit, we cut the dew claw nail as a temporary solution. 
But this will recur. First, we have to muzzle the dog for safety of stuff. Second, we can move in to clip the ingrown part of the toenail. During the process, we have to ensure that we do not clip too deep in beyond the pink line or at the dog's skin itself. After this process, the owner has to ensure that the wound does not get infected by changing the bandage often with fly powder applied. After recovery, Dr. Singh has advised the owner to monitor the nail to prevent this from recurring. To prevent this from recurring, the short-term solution would be to regularly check the nails. However, Dr. Singh has advised the owner to remove the dew claw of the pet so that she will no longer be susceptible to the ingrowth of her nails. In conclusion, let's recap what we've talked about today. Anal saculitis, open pyometra, and ingrown toenails. Each of these surgical conditions have temporary solutions, which are usually medical treatments and permanent solutions, the surgical treatments. 